Welcome to Wellness Wisdom Wednesday. I'm Tiffany Brown Bush and I am helping you through hump day. And it is my pleasure to be able to help super women live fit with happy hormones. And today's Wellness Wisdom Wednesday is a little bit different. Um, I wanted to take an opportunity to acknowledge the passing of Robin Williams. And uh, as a mental health therapist, uh, I thought it appropriate to address um, just the passing and the loss from the lens that someone like me would see it through. Additionally, because I'm an integrative therapist, because my background is in wellness and I've opted in my practice to integrate all that to the best of my ability and as much as clients will allow me to, I wanted to share from that particular pers perspective. Um, this won't come as a surprise to people who coach with me and especially to clients who um, see me therapeutically or I have referred out um, therapeutically. Uh, but not everybody who watches these videos um, is aware of my personal opinions on things. Um, and very few people are aware of my own personal experience. And I am going to take an opportunity during this Wellness Wisdom Wednesday to, um, to share personally, which is something I don't usually do in this particular manner. So with that being said, I want to um, just kind of have the disclaimers of, one, I am not by any means saying that if Robin Williams had um, done X, Y, or Z, he would still be with us. That's not it at all. I'm hoping to give a voice to those clients that I work with, that I've seen success with. Um, there are numerous practitioners that are that are in my life across, you know, the, the United States. I, there are some practitioners I have the opportunity of encountering that are, you know, overseas and in other countries. And because of technology, I get to work with these people, and I'm just moved daily by how, how brilliant. Um, people are and the work that they're trying to do really is and how they're trying to shift the world and so I hope to share some of that perspective as well and give, give a voice to that for people who don't even know that you know this kind of integrative mental health work is being done uh, I also do not want to be clumped in or lumped in with anybody trying to be on trend or trying to share something because that's what everybody is talking about. I, I think that sometimes things happen in the world that give um, you an opportunity to highlight or give a voice to something that per before that moment wouldn't have made any sense or would have just seemed odd or weird. Uh, so I, I do want to say that. Um, I am an integrative practitioner. And a lot of the things that I have done within Fit for Life, um, the company that I started um, officially on paper in 1999, um, a lot of these things have all been informed by my personal experiences or me being able to take experiences of clients um, that I've been able to bless to work with over the years and allow that to inform how I, I, I kind of operate it out in the, in the world. Um, so a lot of times if I've offered something within my company, within my business, it's because either I personally have seen the benefits of it because most clients, you know, they know I won't recommend anything that I, I don't personally believe in or have tried or, or liked or whatever or seen changes with. Um, or I've observed it, you know, with my clients and I've seen it to be useful. Um, so I, I want to say that I started, I became a mental health therapist because my clients were struggling with the behavior change. So I want to say that first. Um, but I, de I definitely think it was, it was informed by personal experiences that I had, but I, I became a therapist primarily because I wanted to better serve my clients. Okay. With all that said, it was very upsetting to me to think that somebody um, could be in so much pain um, and could be so gifted that they would 
not be able to manage and would take their own life. Uh, you know, I'm sure everybody has been impacted in their own way by Robin Williams, but um, as somebody who helps people, it really is kind of a wake up call to make sure that you're always doing your absolute best because you just never know what people are struggling with. And in this week alone, I've had five of my clients have really depressive episodes recently. So it really hit home to me to, to hear that he had committed suicide. Um, I struggled with emotional issues personally growing up. Um, the first time I attempted suicide, I was 11 years old. And um, my family had gone through something pretty traumatic. And we were just dealing with um, some things. And I didn't have the resources personally and emotionally to deal with them. That was the first time and I was obviously unsuccessful. And I didn't talk about that until I went into therapy at 16 and attempted it again. And uh, that's when I started seeing my therapist. And um, and so she, I spent about a year and a half with her. And we worked on what was going on with me. And trying to get to the bottom of it in typical talk therapy stuff. So those of you who um, I work with um, and support, like your teenage daughters, my soft spot comes from knowing that it's really important to support and love them and figure out how to help them navigate teenage years. Um, I had self-esteem issues. I um, was an ugly duckling for a long time. <laughs> um, and then I just, you know, had daddy issues. Um, I had all the issues. Um, and I was a handful for my mother. I graduated um, early from high school, just to end the drama for everybody. Um, so I personally sympathize with uh, the struggle that people can go through emotionally. So I was depressed. I was depressed. I just wanted to give up. I didn't have the resources available. And I struggled in my teens and acted out in odd ways as a result for a while. And I met who would ultimately become my business business mentor, uh, Pete. Um, and I've talked about him on videos. I've talked about him at the Fit for Life studio. He was an individual who I actually worked for. Uh, he and his wife own a software company and I was in the IT industry um, for a couple of years and I worked as a contractor under his company and um, I started really having a hard time with my depression while working for him and working in such an isolated uh, way because we as contractors could work from home and I didn't do well in that way and he it, it just became more of a thing he started to notice that I was struggling and having a hard time managing and brought that up to me long story short Pete and his wife are the reason that I I, I eventually started fit for life he helped me and she helped me create it but what I learned from him about the body and my mental emotional struggle struggles <sighs> informed everything that I would ultimately do with my life um, he gave me books on blood sugar and taught me because he had struggled with depression about depression from one person to another just just feeling somebody else's pain and shared so I learned about hypoglycemia and the fact that my body somehow didn't deal very well with sugar and um, and simple carbohydrates and I would have varying mood states as a result he, he gave me books on biochemistry which were overwhelming and a little too thick for me but then he interpreted um, and explained how important protein uh, was and fiber and how the quality of my food and the fact that I had grown up eating white flour and sugar and crap and sodas and had a horrible sweet tooth had a lot to do with one what I was experiencing with my body and two the depression that I just had struggled with for such a long time and um, he taught me about Tai Chi he taught me uh, the importance of exercise and how exercise would help me to balance mentally and emotionally. And so um, 
and, and he introduced me to a couple of books on psychology. So we would work on assertiveness training and self-esteem. One of the best friends that I ever had. And because of him, I started my company. And because of him, I was able to figure out how to better navigate life. And I'm emotional only because I do what I do because somebody took time to explain to me how the body works. And that is why I help my clients. And I believe with everything in me that if people better understand how their bodies work and if they better understand how important the hormones are and um, if they better understand how much movement matters, that they will better move through this world. If, if, if people hadn't supported and loved me and taught me and talked to me, I wouldn't be here. Um, I would have kept trying to end things. And um, I would have missed my niece. I would have missed um, my husband. I would have missed all the amazing experiences that I've had. But they're almost more importantly than that. The ripple effect would have been that the people that I've been able to help, the health that I've been able to extend and create would not have happened. And so the vision of Fit for Life is about learning that you are on a holistic being, that integrative um, medicine and functional medicine and mental health is real. And what you eat and what you do and how you sleep all informs how you feel, how you look, how your body reacts, disease, all these things. There's no free ride, okay? And as somebody who's come out the other side and can tell you that, I mean, depression is probably, you know, the last thing on my list of concerns. Um, I haven't had a suicidal thought in, in, you know, gosh, a decade now. Um, you know, it's real. It is real that what we do can totally change the way we approach life. So I, I want to just say with the frame of depression, and I actually don't even work with depression. I am a therapist that works with um, body image, um, eating disorders, anxiety. I like working with ADD. Um, but, uh, you know, and I will typically refer out clients that are struggling with depression. I can say this. It's about things being broken. It's about things misfiring. I have seen people who were struggling with anxiety and, and um, ADD and eating disorders turn that around by taking out foods that don't work, by um, discouraging uh, certain behaviors, and by giving them the right supplements. I use amino acids, I use probiotics, and um, I'm able to see clients balance out um, their, their brain functioning. And by taking out certain foods and using a lot of essential fatty acids, I have seen people do amazing things and I have staffed with practitioners who have turned around um, the brain functioning of people who were deemed by the medical community as stuck, okay? So I want to take this opportunity with um, everything kind of swirling around to one, be honest and to share and to say um, that I personally believe that there's a ton of hope and that um, if you know somebody struggling and especially if they're on medication and it is not working, especially if they've been medicated and it's not working to inform them that there are other options and other opportunities for them to address their health and that um, even if you do not have a diagnosed mental illness or issue um, like depression or anxiety or something like that, but you have a lot of 
variance in your mood states or you struggle with addictive behavior that and you don't want to be on medication that there are options available to you this video is really about that that there's a bigger world out there i'm a member of the organization immh which is um integrative medicine for mental health and i i just meet doctors all the time that are are doing this work um and it's it's real and the options are real and so i know i got very emotional super long video um but i i i hope that somebody hears this and shares this um and and it it helps somebody and that you also understand with all the numerous things that we offer and, and that i do um kind of one aspect of where that work comes from and why i feel so passionately at least about some aspects of things um as i do um and and you know until next time lift it